Okay, we got a little service call on a Goodman furnace. Uh, customer reported smelling foul odors, called the gas company. They came out to look for a leak and they heard a lot of gurgling in the flue pipe. I don't know who in the world would tape up a flue pipe like that, but this is what we found when we opened the cabinet. We see a lot of water and signs of water being in it. Nothing hooked to the yeah, there's some water. Nothing hooked to the drain for the uh, water separator for the for the exhaust pipe, the flue pipe. And then we find this open. Now, Goodman did stop draining the bottom of their flue motor for whatever reason. I guess they trust this water separator to do the job and not get condensation in it. There is a obviously a pipe hooked to the bottom of the heat exchanger there, the cold header area, or whatever we want to call that. Um, but this, this tube needs to be extended up to here, obviously, and that will allow the flue system to drain its condensation, and it looks to be running downhill pretty good. So we're going to see if we can find a piece of hose and straighten this out and get it up and running and see if we can fix this customer. Okay, just took a piece of this uh, condensate pump tube. Didn't, didn't have any hose in the van with me. And we're a long ways from a supply house and a load of Home Depot. So I managed to uh, stretch it over the barb up there and managed to get a good connection there, as you can see, and the, the door will just hold it like that and it'll be okay like that. Um, we got all the water out of it um, with no drain on the bottom. Of course I had to take the motor loose and tilt it over and took this shot back and sucked all the water out of it. Um, encapsulated floor in here. I didn't want to dump it out full of water. There's already been enough in here. It appears to be burning really well now. I think we're probably going to go ahead and test the gas pressures, you know, inlet and the manifold side and go ahead and service the furnace while we're here as well, but uh, looks like we at least got past the initial problem and got this thing where it'll run stable, so uh, I think I can feel confident with it now, but I'm going to watch it a few minutes to make sure it drains right, make sure it's burning okay, so thanks for watching.